What's up you guys, it's Graham here. So we have to have a talk about this because from what I could see, this is a pretty big deal that almost no one is covering yet. And trust me, this will turn out to be a pretty big issue if it doesn't get resolved in the next few days and this is what I'm talking about. See, by now I'm sure we've all heard about this $2 trillion stimulus package, right? It's the one that guarantees $1,200 checks to every American earning under $75,000 a year. It extends unemployment benefits by an extra $600 per week. And it also gives small businesses the ability to receive an immediate, non-repayable $10,000 dollar advance to use towards maintaining payroll, making sure the rent or mortgage payments is paid, or having to cope with increased cost of goods due to the current state of our economy. That basically means that pretty much anybody with a small business that has under 500 employees can go on the government website, fill out a form within a few minutes, check the little box that says, I would like to be considered for an advance of up to $10,000. Bam! They can get $10,000 direct deposited into their bank account within three days. That also does not need to be repaid even if that business is subsequently denied for the injury disaster loan. That sounds really, really good, right? But wait, if you thought this was too good to be true, it gets just slightly more unbelievable because the verification process as to who actually can qualify for this loan, according to the actual bill from Congress, is that the administrator shall verify that the applicant is an eligible entity by accepting a self-certification from the applicant under penalty of perjury. So that pretty much means that anyone who checks a box that says, hey guys, yeah, I qualify, no reason not to believe me, so I would like my free $10,000 advanced within three days, please, you'll just get the money and then not have to pay it back. And that is, as long as you've been affected in any way by this illness and you meet some very loose regulations. Well, two things immediately come to mind for any sensible person. Number one being that just sounds too good to be true. And number two, that just seems ripe for a whole bunch of abuse. After all, what's preventing Bob from going and requesting $10,000 for his work from home side hobby ice sculpture business for friends and family where he hasn't sold a single thing now in months? What's preventing Joe from requesting $10,000 because he runs his own business doing the occasional Uber driving on the weekends because he's bored. Who is preventing Sally from straight up lying on her application by saying that she's been running a small business sole proprietorship on the side, receiving $10,000 for free, not having to pay it back, and then hoping they don't actually go and catch her. But with this money being promised within three days of the application and now having it be almost two weeks later with pretty much no one having received it yet, what's going on and can small businesses actually get the money that they were promised? Well, well, let's take a look into this, and for anyone who enjoys and appreciates my very thorough internet detective work, if you wouldn't mind destroying the like button for the YouTube algorithm, it would greatly help out my channel a lot. And the more attention this gets, the more people are going to see it, and the more pressure we could put on the SBA to actually get this money out as soon as possible as promised. So here's what I'm getting at. There's a lot of worthy businesses out there who are in desperate need of this emergency grant money and needed it immediately. When it was released, it was seen by most as a free $10,000 for businesses to help stay afloat during a time of need. And that to many businesses was seen as a life jacket to keep them afloat just a little bit longer. But given the wording and the self-reporting nature of the economic disaster form, they basically just leave it up to you to tell them whether or not you qualify. And when you give people the power to basically raise their hand and say, hey, I need the $10,000, trust me, I'm good for it, I need the money, give it to me, you bet you're gonna have a large influx of applications that will try to take advantage of it. And that is where I believe a lot of the trouble begins. The entire bill is worded very openly, and I'm gonna read you a few points to this, and I will link the entire verbiage to all of this down below in the description for anyone who wants to check this out. To be eligible, all you need is to have a business with us and 500 employees, operate as an individual with or without employees, or as an independent contractor. You also need to be in business for one year prior to the disaster. And really, besides a few other small nuances, that's it. It also says, the small business may request that the administrator provide an advance that is subject to paragraph 3 in the amount requested by such applicant to such applicant within three days after the administrator receives an application from such applicant. And of course, the verification for this is as simple as accepting a self-certification that yes, you are eligible, and that's it. Boom. Done. Then it says, the amount of the advance shall not be more than $10,000. It could be used towards paying yourself or paying your rent or mortgage payments or repaying other obligations that ordinarily could not be met due to revenue loss. Oh wait, it gets better though. Here it is in writing. An applicant shall not be required to repay any amounts of an advance provided under this subsection, even if subsequently denied a loan under Section 7B2 of the Small Business Act. I think, needless to say, when this came out, there was a frenzy of people clamoring over this free $10,000. And since there's only $10 billion provided to give funding for small businesses, and over 30 million small businesses currently in existence, you had to act fast because this is on a first-come, first-serve basis. Now, to put that in perspective, $10,000 per business only covers 3% 
of all small businesses in the United States. That's it. And that doesn't even cover sole proprietors, which is another 23 million people. So if you're late to the party and you don't apply, you're not going to be getting any free money. Anyway, here's what I'm getting at. When this first came out, everyone was rushing around talking about how to apply, encouraging everyone else to apply as soon as possible, and reiterating that this is completely free money. And from the way this is actually worded from the final bill of Congress, they would be right. It's totally free money, but there's a problem. See, it says that the small business may request payment to such applicant within three days after the administrator receives an application in the amount requested by such applicant, which is up to $10,000. So from the way this is worded, the stimulus money should have arrived for anyone who applied on the first day, but still now, no one has received anything yet. When you actually go and call the SBA, well, honestly, don't bother calling the SBA. You're probably going to be on hold for hours at minimum. You're going to get the runaround, but hey, at least on the bright side, you get to listen to this really cool jingle for like seven hours. Enjoy. But the main problem here is the utter lack of planning, panic, lost hope, and confusion when it comes to the $10,000 grant. And I know from speaking with many of my subscribers who run small businesses who have absolutely been devastated by what's going on, they were really hopeful and looking forward to that $10,000 coming in. After all, it came at the perfect time and would have put a lot of their immediate financial needs at rest, if it were actually to come as promised. But now that we're over a week into it and absolutely nothing, this deserves looking into further to figure out exactly what's going on. First, Steve Bolger, who is the director of the U.S. Small Business Association, said recently that whether you get the full $10,000 depends on the size of the business. If you have 10 or more employees, you will get it. Then, when he was asked how many small businesses had actually received it, he replied with, Once we give approval at the SBA, it will be sent over to the Department of Treasury, who will disperse the advance to the small business owner. So I don't know if any businesses have received their money yet. So given this context, if you're self-employed, working for yourself, according to him, you're not going to be getting the full $10,000. And the catch here is that the verbiage says up to $10,000, meaning that will be the most you're eligible to receive, but you could get less. And chances are, with so many applications and the need for money immediately, these applications are not going to be processed manually and have to be automated to get the money out as quick as possible. So where is it? Well, the honest answer is that no one knows. Even though they said it was going to be three days from the point in which you submitted your application, the SBA just came out today and said, EIDL loan advance will start to be distributed this week, $1,000 per employee up to $10,000 max. So if you're just applying as a sole proprietor without any other employees, well that looks like you're not going to get $10,000 and instead if it's just you, you're going to get $1,000. That is quite different than the $10,000 that was implied about a week ago. The SBA in Massachusetts also mirrors this by saying, Frustrations out there is understandable. Rome wasn't built in a day. Systems needed to get balanced first. This week, EIDL loan advances will start to be distributed. Applicants will get $1,000 per employee and up to $10,000 maximum. Sole proprietors should get $1,000. And really, when it comes down to it, I don't think it's any surprise the entire program was massively rushed out. And in the SBA's defense, they probably had to scramble around like a chicken with their head cut off to figure out actually how to go about implementing this and what to do and how they could go about giving money to absolutely anyone who applied asking for it. And that, I believe, is the first problem. You can't just go out there asking people to raise their hand to get a free $10,000 and then give it to people on a first-come, first-served basis. There's got to be a system in place to make sure that the money not only gets put to its best use, but also goes towards the businesses that actually need it. And unfortunately, I believe that's just not being done. Like, here's the thing. A small hobby action figure painting business that makes $1,000 a year should not be receiving $10,000 from the stimulus. But I also think it's very short-sighted to give a sole proprietor only $1,000 because they are the only employee if, for instance, they're making $200,000 a year in gross revenue and saw a 40% pay pay decline with everything that's going on. Likewise, a business with 10 employees should, in theory, get $10,000, but who's to say that business actually needs it? The entire program, in my opinion, is a really good idea in theory, but woefully flawed on so many levels without any way of navigating all of the pent-up demand. Sure, one could argue the up to $10,000 was worded very carefully not to get people's hopes up, but in the actual bill itself states that the applicant can request that the SBA provide an advance in the amount requested subject to the maximum of $10,000. And that gives the impression that they're relying on you to tell them how much you need and you could request up to $10,000. Not to mention, the bill does say that the payment will be made three days after the administrator receives an application from such applicant. But who's to say it doesn't take three to six weeks for the administrator to receive the application? Obviously, there's a lot of frustration going on, and if you look at the SBA's Twitter page, you'll notice a lot of people who are rather upset about not receiving their money. But from my perspective, for whatever that's worth, 
here's what I think. One, there are a lot of legitimate businesses out there who are desperately in need of this $10,000. And giving those businesses an immediate cash infusion within three days of applying is going to help them out dramatically. Now, it's understandable that that was the intention of the bill. And by making it so easy to apply, they probably had the intention of giving out too much money and being too generous is going to be way better than giving out too little. But that also poses so many difficulties with actually implementing such an endeavor. And since it seems like this is just rushed out, it's inevitable that there's going to be massive disorganization and it's not going to go perfect. It's like they either end up giving out $10,000 to anyone who raises their hand in first come first serve and then they run out of money within a few days or they find some sort of way to limit how much money each business gets so that that way more businesses can get something instead of nothing even if it was less money than they initially thought. There's really not going to be a perfect solution to this besides the Fed just going and printing an unlimited amount of money. And really whatever they decide to do, certain businesses will unfortunately be left out. Now two, the wording on the bill is pretty horrible compared to the nuances that are now being released. Now maybe they underestimated the amount of people who are going to be applying or they just didn't fully think it through. But giving businesses the impression that they would be receiving $10,000 within three days of applying gives a lot of false hope, especially if people trust those words literally and make their plans around receiving $10,000. Now obviously, like I said earlier, there should have been measures in place to prevent people from getting $10,000 who didn't actually need it. Like if you don't even make $10,000 in a year from your business, then you probably shouldn't be receiving $10,000. But there really should have been an option in place to state your economic loss so that that way the $10,000 could be more accurately applied. Now three, this is going to be really interesting to see how this plays out over the next couple of weeks. It seems like the entire purpose of this emergency grant was to be issued as soon as possible because businesses needed money now, not weeks later. I also would have liked to have seen more clarification up front about what's going on because it seems like no one really knows. But given the nature of how quickly the stimulus package was passed, it's pretty much guaranteed there are going to be a lot of hiccups along the way and pretty much no one is going to know what is going on. But as of now, as of the latest information that we have at our disposal at the time you're watching this, the money is supposed to be going out by sometime end of this week, maybe. And you're going to be getting $1,000 per listed employee possibly. That is, of course, with the condition that nothing else changes from now until then, which it very well might. Although, just understand, something like this was obviously rushed out. There's a lot of miscommunication. There's way too much that's entirely open to interpretation. And with the sheer amount of people applying, there are bound to be a lot of issues. I'm also just guessing that you'll be able to have the ability to contest the amount that you get if you're unhappy with it. So, like, if you're a business making $2 million a year with two employees and you only get $2,000, you might have the ability to go and provide information showing that, yes, you do actually need up to $10,000, not just the two. And who actually knows if that's going to be an uphill battle or if it's actually worth your time, but it might possibly be. We have no idea. And for anyone upset by this, it does seem like Twitter is the best place to go by tweeting the SBA and asking them for more clarification of what's going on and demanding that payment be released as soon as possible. But again, that's just from what I've seen so far. And if anyone has any other experiences, or had any communication with the SBA, comment down below, let me know. As usual, I'm going to be reading as many comments as I possibly can. So if you wouldn't mind doing that, give me more information to go off of for maybe future videos, let me know and I will be reading those as well. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, if you've not already smashed the like button, make sure to do that. Feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. I post it pretty much daily. So if you want to be a part of it there, feel free to add me there as my second channel, The Graham Stephan Show. I post there every single day. I'm not posting here. So if you want to see a brand new video from me every single day, make sure to add yourself to that. And lastly, if you guys want two free stocks, use the link down below in the description. And Weeble is going to be giving you two free stocks once you deposit $100 on the platform with one of those stocks valued up to $1,400. So if you want those two free stocks, use that link down below. Let me know which two free stocks you get. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.